Have you seen beautiful filaments printed like this? And you're interested in doing your own rainbow models, but you have no idea what to go and find to buy? This is the video for you. There are so many rainbow and transition filaments out these days. A few years ago, there were just very few choices, and it's wonderful that there's so many options, but it's almost overwhelming trying to figure out what you want to get in order to get the model to print like you're hoping it'll print. So we've got pastels. There are metal transition filaments. We've got two color filaments that go back and forth between two colors. There are really nice vibrant rainbows. There are deep intense rainbows and of course my filaments are escaping there are glitter filaments and so and that's just some of the ones that i picked how do we figure out which filament to get all right when choosing a filament you've got a lot of things to consider so let's talk about some terms the first one is single color filament and this one we know it's the same color all the way through and we want a filament that has more than one color so let's let's talk about some terms transition filament gradient filament rainbow filament they're all pretty much interchangeable and different filaments will be described differently so i look for all of those terms when i'm doing searches on amazon or alibaba or even ebay so the other term you might hear is an ombre which you get a two color transition filament and these guys are really nice too one thing that's sort of outside the scope of rainbow filaments or transition filaments is co-extrusion and this is a filament that is exactly the same all the way through it's a filament strand that's divided right down the middle half one color and half the other so you get two colors and it has some really interesting effects so if you're interested in that check that out this makes some beautiful prints but let's talk about how we can find the right transition or rainbow all right, the second thing to consider is the style of transition. So one style of transition is where you've got colors and when it's finished with the color, it moves directly onto the next color. And so there's a more marked change. So for instance, you can see here we're in yellow and then we're going to move to the red. The second option is a continuous change of color. And here's an example of a transition filament that just gradually changes through colors the whole way. And this is what that filament looks like. We want to talk about transition speed. How many meters of filament does it take to get from one color to the next? This is a beautiful looking transition spool, but if you want to get from green all the way back to green, you are going to have to print almost an entire kilo, 800 grams to get done. So that is one thing to look at is how big the bands are. Here to compare is one that has faster transition. So we've got over 18 meters. We've got something maybe that is uh, 10 to 14 meters. These are general guidelines. And then you've got some filaments that are just super fast. These are fast transitions. It was hard to find them earlier on. And now we've got a good number of them that are coming out five to seven meters in transition. Let me give you some examples. Here's an example of a beautiful fast transition rainbow. This is a nice full rainbow. Uh, and here's what this spool looks on the side. You can tell they're really close together and it's a really popular, really popular filament. So that's fast. Then we're gonna come to something that's a little bit slower. I started and I printed the first model here and I started with the gold and then it got to pink and I wanted to keep going and so I printed something that started at the pink and we got to the blue teal and then we kept going and we went from here to here and so it took a full 500 grams to get through the transition once and it's gorgeous and I love I love these but this is a slower transition in comparison to this model that was a third of the total filament of this. The best advice to get the filament you're looking for is if you've seen someone print and you like the way their model prints, ask them what the filament is because then you know you're going to get the filament that you're looking for. Other than that, go and search on things like Amazon, Alibaba, eBay, and enter in full search information, gradient, rainbow, filament, PLA or PETG, 1.75, and you'll get a good set of results. On Amazon, you're gonna get results that Amazon wants to show you, so you may have to dig a little deeper, but what you wanna look for is the side of the spool, and I'll use this filament again as a side. If you see this, you know you're getting a really long transition. If you see something like this, you know that you're getting a really short transition and that gives you information. 
The red flag that I'll tell you is there are a lot of pictures of models that'll sit beside a spool and the picture will be small of a teddy bear or something and, and then the whole transition of all the colors will happen within that model that looks very small and yet you see this or you see something that's more along the medium line here. Watch out for that. They want to show you what the colors look like, but you may not be getting that in a very short period of time. The other red flag is if you have a filament that's nice and light like this, but you have a picture of a very dark toned model that has some, let's see where is it, oh, that has colors, really deep colors like this. Watch out for that. That's not necessarily, I always look, are the colors in the model that they're showing printed in the spool? In general, you're gonna get what the spool is. Let's go and look at some product pages and see if I can give you some examples of what I've been talking about. This first one is a filament that is very vivid and bright and it's pictured very well. You get a good idea of the size of the model and it matches the colors behind it on the spool. I have good confidence that I'm going to get exactly what, I, what I'm expecting here when I buy this. Now the next one is a full gradual transition. I like this. It matches with the picture behind it and that it looks like it's going to move through the colors very quickly. We've got a two color model here. It looks like it's gonna move fairly slowly through it, but reasonable given the size of the model and it matches what I'm seeing behind it. These are examples of filaments that I like what I see here. It's giving me the information I need to make the decision if it's, if it's something I wanna buy. We've got an amylin here that has three colors here. It actually says silk, black, shiny, red, gold. So you've got black, red, gold. It tells you the order. And then you've got a picture of a model that's reasonable in size that matches the about what I would expect for that transition. Look at this. This is a beautiful gradient transition. It actually matches really like exactly those colors. So again, really good confidence. I can't find this one. I want to get this one. All right, the next one is a very large model here, and it says here it's gradually color. So it is not going from one to the next in color, it is doing a gradual transition. It matches. It's a big model and it matches what I'm seeing behind because it's not as fast a transition. All right, this filament is very popular. It's taking a while to get it now. This is this filament. And even though you only have one small picture of this peacock in here, and the rest of it is pictures of the spool, and the filament itself doesn't really look like it's gonna print this great. And this is one of those examples where you want to say to someone, where did you get that filament? And they say, oh, go get the picture with the peacock. So it's also a fast transition. It says silk, shiny, fast color gradient, and it certainly is. I like the cookie cad here. They've got a picture of the spool and they tell you the order. It is a blue to purple to pink. And then they have a picture of their cookie cutters. And you can see the order in which they print the, printed them and exactly what you're going to get. I threw in some glow in the dark here because we've got a lot of glow in the dark rainbow uh, filaments and something to note about it is most of the glow in the dark filaments as it shows here are white. So you're buying a white filament aside from the point in time during the night where you have it charged up with light. Other than that, it's going to be white and it's pretty much white for all the colors. Now, uh, there are something I wanted to show here. I'm showing three examples. It's got change in five meters. The next one has the same model, but it says change in 10 meters. That's fine. It's just using the same model. And then there is another one with a bigger model, change in 15 meters. Just use this as an example. Look for some of them. They will, may not say it in the actual description like Amelin has at the top here, but if you look down in the description, it will tell you the transition length or estimated range for the transition length. So that's something I always look for if I can find it. All right, Flash Forge, I'm going to pick on Flash Forge. I love this filament. I've bought this multiple times. I have no idea where the pastel purple and teal are because it is not in this transition. And the other pictures here, it's, it's not even close. What you do get is what's on the right side, and it's beautiful, and it's this deep, dark rainbow color. So match the pictures with the spool. In this case, they don't match for half of it you will be getting the spool that matches on the right. This is Fesimoff. They've got um, two models that appear to be small, and yet you're going through the entire color 
uh, color change. It's probably that they're wanting to show you these are the colors that you'll see in a printed model. Don't be confused that you will be printing small models and it will go all the way through that transition length because even though it moves fairly quickly based on what I see on the side, it's not that quick. All right, I'm very confused with Giant Arm. I uh, have ordered this, it's on the way, but what I think is that it is a transition. It looks like it moves from one color to the next fairly quickly based on what I'm seeing here from the green to red or red to green. But look what happens here. They have a picture of the spool of the strand of filament and it looks like co-extrusion. And it looks like the underside is green and the upper side is red. And I do not think that's what they're selling here. And then you look at the next one and they've done something even more confusing. It appears that the filament is changing every two inches from green to red to green. And they're just showing, this is a common picture that shows that it's flexible. I've seen this many times. That, someone highlighted that, that did not mean to com confuse everybody. This is what it looks like. And then we see on the next slide, this is the actual side view of the spool. This is the order that you're getting the colors. An interesting thing to point out here is that red isn't on each of the bands. It's not up at the top one. So is red not in there? No, this is actually a good sign that it's a more, uh, it's a faster transition. And the reason you get that is because the red is probably on the far side of the spool in the winding and it was moving on to the blue or the next color before it got to the, to the close side here where the picture was taken. So that's good. That means it's a faster transition, but this is, this is what you want to go by. Ignore the rest. Um, Vulcan Craft. I have this filament. I have it right here. I was showing it earlier. This is a long transition. It's a great filament. I have printed with this multiple times. The picture here is very confusing. It looks like a vase. Vase mode models or even just thick vases are not a lot of filament. And so it looks like you're getting through all the colors or many of the colors on this. You're not going to unless your vase is over 500 grams. It's a heck of a vase. And the order is wrong. It's blue at the bottom to green to yellow to pink and the filament goes from green to blue to orange to yellow. So it doesn't match in color. It doesn't match in order. Watch that. I always look for that. Next here, vase modes are really nice. They use vase modes a lot to show the order of the filament. They're trying to give you an idea of what it looks like, but sometimes they've been printed on really big machines. And in this case, it's a medium transition length maybe, but we're not gonna get through all of those colors in a vase, certainly a vase that is half the height of a spool. Arion here is, this is a great filament. It, it is those colors, that's correct. Uh, but it's, again, not that quick through the transition. You can tell that from looking at the side of the spool. You're just not going to get through it that quickly. But it is a nice, fast transition. Zyru, I have this. You're not going to print an apple and get through all the colors in an apple that's two and a half, three inches tall. Watch out for that. All right, now I'm at the end. And so I'm, I'm kind of picking on some companies with the exception of one. I have every single one of these filaments. So I obviously like them enough to buy them. I have no complaints on any of them. But some of the things that I'm starting to see is that companies are listing more the transition length. And they are doing interesting things like this. This says long color spacing versus short color pitch. What they're saying here is if you have a long transition versus a short transition. And what they have down at the bottom is really key. They have a model and they have the model sitting on a printer. So you have a good idea of, I have a model of a specific size. And if I have a long transition filament, I'm only going to get through maybe two of the colors. But if I have a short transition, I'm going to get through the entire path. So I love that. That's a great picture. I would love to see more companies show information like that. And this is another one that I saw just recently. And it's great. It shows the information in both gram weight and height. If you got 100 gram, 200 gram, 300 gram, you're going to get through two colors, three colors, four colors. If you have 10 centimeters, 20 centimeters, 30 centimeters, you're going to get through two, three, and four colors. That's great. That's really helping people understand what the filament is going to perform like when they get it. So, all right, I hope some of this has been helpful. I clearly love rainbow filaments and I've put out a lot of videos on various transition and rainbow filaments. So go and check our back catalog to see if there are any of the filaments you're looking for. 
see if we can give you some more up close videos with details on that. And I am very interested in what you're doing if you're printing with some of these rainbow filaments. If you've got any comments on what you bought, any questions, so leave them in the comments and I would love to see what you guys are printing next. In the meantime, I'm going back to browse rainbow filaments. Check you next time.